Hello everyone. My name is Shraddha Mohan. I'm working as a trainee electrical officer in Dredging Corporation of India, currently sailing in DCI Dredge 14. In today's short video, I will introduce you to ship's engine room and some of the machineries there. And I'll also talk about why an electrical officer is required on board a ship. So let's get started. Electrical officer is one of the most vital positions in technical hierarchy of a ship as there are huge requirements and unmanned technology handling the vessel. We are responsible for all the electrical motors and switchboards including main switchboard and emergency switchboard and also we are responsible for maintenance of fire detectors and fire alarm systems and also all the alarm systems on board. We maintain all the batteries that are connected to the machineries on board which include the emergency batteries, GMDSS batteries, lifeboat batteries and the batteries for emergency generator. We are also responsible for maintaining the refrigeration and air conditioning unit of the vessel. We are responsible for ship's navigational lights and navigational equipment and also all the electronic equipment fitted on board. Now let me take you to my workplace. So, this is the ship's engine room. First, let me take you to the power sources of the ship. There are three auxiliary generators, each producing 350 kW power. Two generators running in parallel serve most of the power requirements of the ship. One is kept standby. This is used in case of any breakdown. Besides these auxiliary engines, there are two shaft generators producing 600 kW each. Shaft generator is driven by main engine of the ship. These are raw cooling water pumps. There are three main air compressors. This is the purifier room. Now let's start the auxiliary engine. Let us take this generator on load. For paralleling the generators, the bus bar frequency and the incoming generator frequency must match. Phase voltage must be equal and phase sequence must match which is done by the synchroscope. At 11 o'clock position, we close the breaker and hence take a non loader. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.